Hey, we're Smithfield. And this is Scenes. Trey and I actually grew up together. We met when we were 10 years old, and our families go back like three generations. So grandparents went to high school together, parents went to high school together. So this whole Smithfield thing was kind of a meant to be thing, I think. Uh, I think it definitely makes it easier in the sense that mm -hmm. I feel like that's why we have such a good chemistry on stage is because we have that comfortability with each other. Um, harder yeah. in the sense that you can be brutally honest sometimes. Um, sometimes to a fault maybe, but it's just because you feel that comfortable with the person. Yeah. Well, I, Trey reached out to me when his rock band broke up and I felt obligated to have him over because he's a family friend and I've known him a whole life and I was like, if I say no, I know our grandparents are going to talk and I just knew I was going to hear about it somewhere down the line. So I really didn't think anything of it. And then when he came over, um, we played a Keith Urban song together. That was the first song we ever sang and I just heard the harmonies and how well our voices blended together and I just I knew it was something special from day one. So it's kind of crazy that I had low expectations and then not only did it exceed them <laughs> or meet them, it exceeded them. There you go. Yeah. Um, well, uh, we always say if it's not unanimous, we don't do it. If we don't agree on it, we don't do it. So, um, you know, I mean, there's definitely some battles we have, probably in the writer's room as well. That's what I was going to say, when we're writing um, songs, because I'm mean, like... I mean, creatively, yeah, definitely in the writer's room, mm -hmm. because it's two different people, two different experiences, even though we have a lot of similar ones. So, um, any battles we have, though, are, we've always resolved them. We've never... Yeah. We never had any uh, anything too big. We always say, like, it's like your family. You don't always like them, but yeah. you love them and you have their back no matter what. So mm -hmm. that's kind of how it is with us. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, well we're very, we're two different people at the end of the day. I'm very type A, Trace type B, so naturally we're gonna get on each other's nerves every now and then and spend as much time as we do together on the road. Yeah, I you mean, know. when you spend this much time with somebody, it doesn't matter how much like you they are or how much different they are. They're, <laughs> they're gonna get on your nerves at some point. It For just sure. happens, you know. So you just get over it, you know, common cause. Yeah. Wow, I love telling this story. Well, from a technical standpoint, I will say, before you get into bashing me on it. I'm not gonna uh, bash you. <laughs> from a technical standpoint, I mean, you know, you're always looking for the perfect combination of melody, arrangement, and lyrics in a song. Mm -hmm. And you know, some days you have it, and some days you don't. And I think just that day was kind of a perfect storm for us of just lyric and melody, you know, marrying each other, so. Um, from a technical standpoint, I think that's why people connect with it. And also the story, you know, it's a real problem that a lot of people have, especially you always hear women like blaming the guy and we kind of took a different spin on it and had her blame the alcohol instead. So um, yeah. now, you, now you can bash me. If you I'm not going to bash you. <laughs> it's just I, how we wrote it. I remember that day because I had this idea, you only miss me after whiskey, you only want me when you're gone. And I brought it into Trey and we had two other co-writers and all the guys shot it down because they said we didn't need another song in country music about whiskey. There it is. And I was like, the stubbornness in me, I was like, yes, we do. <laughs> and, yeah. But talk, going back to what you just said, like <laughs> the perfect combination of lyrics and melody, my melody was not right. It wasn't great. And the idea and the lyrics were there, but Trey came up with the melody of Hey Whiskey. And it's just, it's cool that our teamwork, you know, we worked through the stubbornness and we made a great song, so. You know, we've always, I mean, we believe that connecting with people is the reason you do music, you know, and telling stories, especially in country music. Um, and so we just always want to aspire to go out there and evoke some kind of emotion, whether it's joy or sadness or, you know, whatever it might be. Um, that's what we want to accomplish with our music. And, you know, I love how we have a dynamic and we can sing about so many things. We're a duo, but there's not really a lead singer. And, you know, in a lot of duos, you see a lead singer. But I think that makes us more versatile. I think it makes us be able to sing about a bunch of different topics. So. Yeah, absolutely.